What's up, everyone? Wow, what a night. We just finished my first ever zero to Uber with a hammered in Paladin. Then we changed over to Smiter for the Uber fights. And wow, what a journey. For those of you that don't know, I embarked on a 30 day Uber challenge 30 days ago. And tonight, we finally did it. We completed and killed the mini Ubers, the clone and the Ubers to complete the challenge. What a journey. In this video, I'm just going to show you the D clone mini Uber and Uber fights. I'm going to do a little montage after this segment. And then after the montage, I'll come back and share my final thoughts about this challenge and journey. But I do want to say before we go to the montage, this game behind me, what a beauty, uh, just absolutely continues to deliver. It's been a pure joy playing this game. I started playing this game only five months ago on September 29th to be exact. And I have to say, I've been playing it nonstop and streaming it every night nonstop since then it has been a pure joy to play this game we've done a lot of things in five months and although 30 days to do, go from zero to ubers is a lot and i know before you throw in the comments that some people do it in six seven five hours whatever it is i'm not a speed runner nor do i rush through anything i like to enjoy the journey so when we embarked on this challenge, we purposely gave the time frame of 30 days in order to give me the time. And 30 days defined as basically 30 streams. We were going to record every second of this journey. So 30 streams to get it done. Now, some streams were only three hours, some were longer, but I wanted to give myself a time frame. Remember, I play offline solo stuff found. So there's no trading, no selling, everything that I needed, I had to get myself. Uh, so I wanted to give myself uh, 30 days. And to be honest with you, I didn't know whether or not I would be able to do it because I've never done it. I've never farmed for the keys for the Ubers. I've never fought the Ubers. I've never fought the clone on and on and on. This is all a first for me. So when we set this challenge i was very nervous about it and i gotta say we got her done uh and i'm so happy so let's get to the montage what you're going to see here is basically a montage of tonight and my final three hours or so of a stream actually the stream was four hours and we basically started with killing d clone getting ready fighting the mini ubers and then going and fighting the ubers and let's just say you could hear a pin drop in the room let's get to the montage i'm either gonna choke or i'm gonna do my first d clone This life tap's gonna be an issue.
What a fucking shit show. You, you guys... <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm hitting W and it doesn't do it.
Hyper Brothers will not have died in vain. My brothers will not have died in vain. My brothers will not have died in vain. He he he. Check. Thirty day Uber challenge. Check. Yes. Wow. Wow. A sork! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Wow. And we did it on the last day of the challenge. Wow. I, st I still don't believe it. I really thought I was going to fail this challenge. You guys need to understand. I literally spent the last... 10 to 14 days of this challenge farming gear we had all the keys now the struggles with the keys you know there was a little bit of a struggle with the keys there was a definitely a struggle with learning how to position myself with the hammered in and then 
to literally switch to smite right before the fight that was a big mistake but we got through it uh like i literally fought andy and mephisto once each i believe to learn how to use smite now it's not a difficult skill to use but i did not i had to swap weapons in order to get life tap and um i didn't get the drac gloves so i had to swap weapons to put life tap on and that was number one <laughs> becoming an issue and number two also how to position myself and use smite and make sure my positioning was accurate um but anyway definitely a lot of big hurdles but before we get into my final thoughts let's go back to the video and a lot of people were asking me show the build show the build show the build so here is my build my final build that fought the mini ubers and the ubers and completed the uber challenge here's my build sorry sorry okay youtube and <laughs> twitch <laughs> um yeah that's good actually this could be good for my video okay so my final build for uber we did it folks um and like the noob that i am i still had 10 stat points that i didn't assign but here are the final stats on Samiter, my very first Diablo 2 character that killed Ubers. Zero to Ubers in 30 days. 228 strength, 166 dexterity, 312 vitality, 47 energy, and 10 stent <laughs> and 10 stat points in reserve. <laughs> oh shit hold on let me put let me put that our smite damage was 980 to 1825 we had block of 75 percent we had oop, lightning resistance of 324 fire resistance of 365 Cold resistance 225 and 225 poison. We had 15% mana regen, 30% health stamina. What else? 8% fizz damage, 8% life steal, replenish life, blah, blah. 50% MF, knockback. IAS was at 35. Fast run walk was at 37. And FHR was at 30. 30 all right those are that oh Psst. the gear we're rocking black our offhand was a um level five life tap so black then we had g face with an um in it we had the Doom Torque Amulet. We had a Karast Rhyme Shield. We had Gore Riders, which, by the way, these were attained by Gamba. We gambled for these. We actually got another one to drop. So we actually have two of them. But our first ever Gore Riders was through gambling. We got dwarf, dwarf star. Oh my God. Holy shit, guys. Okay, immortal king. Uh, we have string of ears that's sitting in my inventory. Good thing we remembered our string of ears, guys. We had string of ears. Dwarf star two dwarf stars and we had laying of hands yeah a mortal king i have like three of them but this is the belt we should have been rocking string of ears and the only reason why i wasn't rocking it it's ethereal so i was worried it was going 
to not last the minis to the Uber. So I was like, okay, but before we go to Ubers, I'll swap to string of ears. And we did not If the memes just keep coming. Yeah. So double dwarfs, immortal king. <laughs> what do you guys? Oh, chains of honor. Was our chess piece. Uh, actually, to get our fate proc, we had treachery. Treachery. <laughs> Show item and skills, please. Yeah, well, here are the here's that. Um, basically, one point down here sorry prayer cleansing vigor redemption salvation maxed out lightning res might blessed aim concentration fan <laughs> fantasia maxed out that's for you fabio um sacrifice Zeal, Holy Boat. Well, that's just to get the Holy Shield, which is maxed out. One point, well, one point in charge because I had to get the Holy Shield. And so Smite and Holy Shield, they're maxed. And that's it. He is, boys and girls. Samiter, the Uber Destroyer. Atta boy, Samiter. Proud of you, buddy. Super proud of you. You go on the Legends Hall of Fame with the Nature Boy. Nature Boy Sammy. What's up, buddy? Mr. Hardcore Killer himself. Nature Boy and Sameter. Two legends on the Sammy Caps Waypoint Hall of Fame. <laughs> I just made that up. I have to say, this build, if I had the Drac gloves, would have been a cakewalk. I could have done it with my eyes closed. What a powerful build. Unbelievable. Literally melted all the bosses. Like, really, the only doubt that I had... I had a I've had a big concern about Lilith, the mini boss, and we just melted her. Uh, and then obviously I was worried once I got to fighting the Ubers, I was very concerned about pulling more than one of them. But uh, I was very cognizant of that, and my chat was awesome as usual. They helped guide me through the map to make sure I was only pulling one at a time. And um, it's just crazy good, crazy good. What a build, just melted. And really the only concern was getting life tap off and not dying. Um, just unbelievable, just crazy how much fun this build was. Now, a couple of things that I'd like to say um, in reference to this whole journey. I, I went through a lot of hurdles, a lot of mountains that I had to climb, a lot of frustration, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the very first one was learning the hammer, the hammered in, which is probably 90% of my playthrough. I literally played hammered in all the way up right before Ubers. Um, so in the very beginning, understanding positioning on where to position yourself and making sure all the hammers are hitting was a huge struggle of mine. Um, we eventually got over that hurdle, but that was probably the first frustration in the game was the hammered in. And then literally when we went to farming the keys, uh, pretty well, everything went well. We did have a little, uh, a little bit of a struggle with getting some of the keys, but for the most part, it wasn't too bad grinding for the keys. The third hurdle then became, okay, what is my ideal setup going into the Ubers? 
and basically we came up with a laundry list and you saw my build so i'm not going to go over everything you saw what uh i had the only thing that was missing from well there was a couple of things to be honest with you a better shield for sure could have uh, helped me out a little bit more um, the drac gloves with life tap uh, would have been amazing uh, so I didn't have to swap weapons and therefore make myself and expose myself to dying and being more vulnerable so the drac gloves would have been really helpful and to be honest with you I, I would have been like whistling while I was doing it instead of silence and serious Sam mode all the time because I was so nervous about getting life tap off right away and not dying um so that, the Drax, I could, probably could have used um, better rings. But again, my reses were amazing. But really, the only other thing that I really, really, really wanted was Grief. I wanted the Grief weapon, but we could not get the Low Ruin to drop in Lower Karast. And we farmed the crap out of Lower Karast. Player 7, Player 5, like endless endless farming of lower karast i had an amazing map with the four super chests really close to the waypoint uh, literally like a 30 second run to open up the four chests and we could not get a low ruin to drop now having said that we did get two sir ruins to drop which made it possible to get the bear and get my uh chest piece uh so yeah, I got a lot of um ruins. Uh, we got a vex. We got a lot of good stuff out of lower Karast, out of the super chest. And we farmed also the crap out of Andy and Mephisto. Like, like literally a week, seven, eight, nine days of constantly farming Andy and Mephisto for better bases better uniques just get like g face literally dropped i think one or two streams before day 30 like that's how down to the wire this got to um but at the end of the day we had an amazing build one would probably i don't know do you guys consider that a budget build uh some people made comments that oh my god sammy you did it on a budget build is this is that a budget build um, I don't know. I don't know enough about the game. But anyway, we had our struggles, but we persevered. And I can tell you, I'm going to sleep good tonight, not having to worry about this challenge. <laughs> but like I said in my earlier segment, this game has delivered over and over. I can see why now the people that come into my community and on my streams and talk about how they've been playing this game 10 years, 20 years. I understand why. This game is a pure joy. And if you're watching this video and you haven't played Diablo 2, I strongly suggest you try it out. It will suck you in. It's an unbelievable game. It hits every mark when it comes to action RPG. Like it's just an unbelievable game. So I highly highly recommend it anyway that's it guys uh that's it we did it we did it and uh where are all the naysayers we're all where, where are they all at i don't see them i can tell you on day one when we set this challenge there was a lot of people in my chat telling me how this was never gonna happen there was a lot of people telling me i was gonna die over and over in the uber fights there was a lot of people telling me I was going to get so frustrated by dying and spending so much gold on um, <laughs> on fixing my gear. And none of that happened. It was such an easy playthrough. Like, I mean, the fights, the mini Uber, the clone, mini Ubers and the Ubers really outside of my errors was really an easy fight and that's thanks to my community who helped me build this character so thank you guys you know who you are you're here every night with me and you guys are right here with me thank you so much 
I couldn't have done it without you guys. So big props to you guys. Big friggin' props. Anyway, we did it, everyone. Uh, and as I said in the montage, Uber challenge, 30-day Uber challenge, check. And we've already created another challenge uh, for myself, but I'm not going to share that with you. If you want to know what my next challenge is, well, you're just going to have to come on to my live stream and see for yourself live. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you can find it in your heart to like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, I can't believe we did it. We did it. And as always, we we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.